Good morning and welcome to our live this morning. Thank you so much for joining us. My name's Jenny McCormack and I'm an independent stabbing up demonstrator and I'm based in the market town of Brackley which is in Northamptonshire in the UK. I seem to have come down with a cold so I do apologise, I'll try and keep this short and sweet so you don't have to listen to me struggling over my cold. But we are continuing with the bottled happiness stamp set that we started using on Monday. And we created these two cards so far. So this was Monday's um, card design using the bottle with the spray of flowers behind. And this is what we also did at Coffee and Card yesterday, not yesterday, Monday and Friday. And then yesterday, Tuesday, we created this one using the Stamparatus Morning Catherine to stamp the flowers in two places. So just by rotating the paper in between and then adding a tag in the centre. Today I thought we would use the wine bottle and create a card suitable for somebody who drinks wine, whether it's for a celebration or birthday. So I'm going to be using this set here. Um, I can also pop the cork in as well, there's a cork there. And I'm going to be using the label and the sentiment that says why not. And it only occurred to me last night the significance of why not because I was thinking why not that doesn't make any sense and then I realized let's get into the spirit <coughs> why not it's a play on words sorry it's taken me so long to actually realize that so we're going to be using the Stamparatus again today morning Lynn and good evening, Kerry. So I have my stamparatus here. And what we're going to do is stamp a line of wine bottles using the hinges here to do our hinge stamping. Sorry, I'm going to sneeze. I know it's gone. <laughs> It'll return, I'm sure. So I've cut a piece of white card that is actually longer than I need because what I'm going to do is stamp the wine bottles across and then choose part of that because I'm not quite sure how they're going to fit on there. And then I have a piece of Merry Merlot and I also have a piece of crumb cake. I haven't quite decided what order these are going to go in and then a white card. Now, this isn't a, an original idea of mine. I saw a demonstrator do this um, online yesterday. And I will dig out the name of the demonstrator. It was a lady, I believe, from, from America. So, what we need to do is just consider where we're putting the stamp. Because we need to be able to move it along. And I wonder if I might do it this way to make it easier for you all to see so what i'm going to do is place the stamp in one position pick it up and then with the hinge move it along because i think this bottle will fit between each one of those so i should be able to get one two three four five and a half bottles and then i'm going to trim this down so i'll probably end up with five complete bottles but um, by making it a little bit longer, I've got the option then to um, move that around. So just going to make sure. It's going to turn this the other way around. So that the corner is in there. Like so. And I could. Just put that right at the top, like so. 
And because um, the paper is staying still, but this is moving, I could use a little bit of washi tape to hold it in place as well. Uh, yes. Like so. Okay, so what I'm going to do is place my bottle on here. I might move that over. So I want it fairly close to the bottom. Like so. And I'm using Merry Merlot, but I did think you could alternate. Um, so I tend to use So Saffron ink for white wine. So you could alternate red, white, red, white if you wanted to. So I'm going to pick that up here like so and I know it'll be a little bit sticky very sticky it's not so bad once it's got the ink on it okay all right so I'm going to ink this up and place it down and the good thing is, if I need to do it a couple of times, I can do that easily with the Stamper Artist. So, hi, Glenda. Thanks for joining us this morning. I hope you're well. So, we're going to use Mary Merlot. And ink this up. Now, this is very close to the end. I suppose I could start it a little bit further over. But let's just give it a go. So, Mary Merlot ink. Press it down, and I'm going to press it extra hard as it's right next to that, um, what do you call it, edge. Oh, there we go, that's fine. Okay, so now I'm just going to lift this up, move it one along, okay, and then you can check the spacing that it's not going to overlap or anything. And then re-ink it. So this is called um, what can be called a number of things. You hear it called step stamping, hinge stamping, and it's perfect with our stamparatus. There we go. want to make sure that's attached like so not that it is as critical because I put it up in the corner it's quite easy to replace it now if you ink it up and forget to move it doesn't matter just lift it up and move it after you've ink it, inked it so I reckon I was going to get five and a bit didn't I So I hope everybody is well today. We're at Wednesday in the week already. And it's the 4th of May. So Facebook is covered in 4th of May comments. And I have released my um, In Colour Club and our paper share details. That came out yesterday, so if you want details of those, you can see those in person by watching yesterday's video on YouTube or here. Okay, let's bring this down a little bit. Like so. Okay, now I am going to stamp the last one because it may be that I cut it off part the way through so I'm just going to pop a little bit of paper under the end here it 
really just I'm not getting ink on my plate although it's really easy to clean off anyway so this is my last one oops that moved a little bit you do need to allow space around your table to get that all in okay let's clean that off so you don't have to use the stamper us for that you could um, manually stamp it it just depends on how um, accurate your eyesight is <laughs> and your ability to line them up okay so I'm happy with that what I'm going to do now is create the labels so I've got uh, the little label stamp here and I've got why not so I'm going to use those two and I'm just going to stamp those on a scrap oh perfect very well done so I've got a scrap of white card and I'm just going to stamp it's going to do six oh I don't think there's much ink in this one but and it's got tiny hair on it So I'm inking this in crumb cake and I'm going to stamp the sentiment. I should could stamp the sentiment in Merlot as well, couldn't I? I was going to use espresso. You see that tiny mark there? It's just from a hair that I've picked up. And I suspect it was on the stamp set. On the ink pad, sorry. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, in case I need them. Make that one a little bit darker. There we go. Now, I think I might do that in the Merlot because I think it will stand out nicely against that background. I might have to take my glasses off. So I'm going to practice on one here. Yep, yeah, that's nice and easy. Easy to line up. I still might make a mess. So you could do these in the same way on the Stamparatus if you wanted to. Because we're going to cut them out, I find I don't need to. But if you wanted to make sure that these were exactly in line, then you might want to. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then I've got Let's Get Into the Spirit, which I'm going to put across the top. And shall I add the corks? That is the question. Let's have a look and see. Let's use crumb cake again. Put it on this one. I think it needs to go further down. I think I'm going to leave it at the moment. OK, 
okay so I'm just going to cut these out really quickly let's just this so you can talk amongst yourselves while I'm cutting these out so for those of you that were watching yesterday we did retrieve the cat he was around in the evening needless to say I haven't seen him this morning but if we know where he goes that's a starting point isn't it okay so just trimming these out so they are going to go on here like so this would good be good for anybody who likes red wine or port yes me too Kerry it's always a worry isn't it you could also do these in lots of different colors for um, liqueurs So I think you could have some great fun with this. And obviously you could also play with the um, other bottle as well. So just really quickly doing this. I guess I could have had those ready for you, couldn't I? Right, one, two, three. And then I'll look at the measurements as to where I cut that card so this is um as long as the standard card that we need so we're going to cut that down there we go three four and five pop those away and I think I'm going to put these on uh, I think I'm going to put them flat but I'm going to deliberate about that for the minute right let's have a look at the card layers and then we can add the sentiment and finalize this so I think Let's just see where that gets us to. If I trim that one off. I think that will work. that one off there and then I'm going to do the same on this side so I know if I do it again I can have a little bit offset small amount offset from the left and then stamp five and then I've got two layers which currently are the same size but I'm thinking Crumb cake, Merlot, and then, oops, the white looks quite crisp, doesn't it? The other way round is Merlot, crumb cake, and white. 
Any preference? I don't think there's much in it really. The glasses on. Da, da, da. So that's Merlot first. I think the crumb cake first. Yeah, I'm going to go for that. So this measures 13.35. So I'm going to cut this to 13.85 like so. So I'm just looking at the height at the minute. No, I'm not. <laughs> so I'm going to change the height. So this one needs to be Fourteen point three five, which it is. So my layers are one, two, so I'm looking at just at the bottom for the minute, so I'm happy with that spacing. And I'm just going to do the detail at the top, so I'm just going to work that down. So this one. I want to be half a centimetre smaller. So instead of measuring, I'm just taking the half a centimetre off the right because I knew it was going, I knew it was the same size to start with. Okay. And measure that now that's nine and a half so this needs to be nine there we go right so these are my layers that one on there that one on there and on to there like so And then I'm going to stamp the sentiment that says, let's get into the spirit. Da -da, just this one here. And then I'm going to add my labels. One, two, three, four, five. And we're good to go. So let me find a longer block for that. I'm just letting that relax and because I've not used this stamp I'm just going to have a little practice on here first and I'm sticking with the Merry Merlot Brenda so that says let's get into the spirit which I think will fit nicely so Brenda we're carrying on with bottled happiness and this time we're using just the bottles so glasses off Let's get into the spirit. There we go. Like so. And so my labels are going to go on. So do you think flat? I think probably flat. Let's pop these layers together while we're deliberating on that. And I also want to decide if I'm going to put the corks in. So I had my practice one, but I think it needs to be 
further I need to stamp it further down so let's put these layers together and let me know what you think so labels flat or on dimensionals um, so this is my bottom layer let's just move that out of my elbow reach thank you yeah they do look so realistic don't they Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Oops, that moved. Okay, let's get that straight. Can I blame the cold? I don't know if I can really. <laughs> Here's my crumb cake layer. So this is going to tally with the uh, labels to bring them in together. As I say, you could do these. I think this would be fun if you did all these bottles in different colours. So you could do the same thing. Um, Especially with our new in colours, you can have some, some bright blue, pink, you can have some orange. I think I'm not going to put the corks in. Because I don't want to, I don't want to risk messing it up. Let me just try one and see. Take this bottle off the stamp artist. So let's just have a little practice on here and then I'll make my final decision. Otherwise I can't say that I've tried, can I? So there's my bottle in Mary Merlot. And here is the cork. Looking at it, this bottleneck is wider than this one. So let me have a look. See. I'm not sure only because the um, cork is showing in that gap which I know it would do but if it was reflecting the light you wouldn't necessarily see it what do you think hello Katie any thoughts whether I should add the corks or not I'm going to pop this layer down anyway. No corks is scary. No corks. Okay, that's it. Thank you, folks. <laughs> You're on the same wavelength as me. As I, say, I think the other bottle has a slightly wider opening probably completely wrong probably a complete optical illusion okay so here are our wine labels now we do have a new alphabet set with a small alphabet and it'd be quite fun to put somebody's name on there or you could use a longer card if their name was more than um, <laughs> five letters long then um, that would be quite fun to stamp a sentiment or a message um, on the labels themselves 
so it's a new alphabet set that ha it does have a matching small punch but I think it would look quite nice on these labels now where am I going to put it that's the next question okay so I'm going to line it up with this right hand piece there and that's where definitely the wet glue is useful this also has a sentiment which is sending cheer so I think you could have sending cheer da -de da -de da and then at the end why not Or you could just leave them blank or look out for other little sentiments on some of your stamp sets there we go so I'm just lining the top right hand side with the right hand um, line and there we go so that is the finished card on the front I think we need to add a wine bottle on the inside and on the envelope just to finish it off. I've got the envelope the right way round and I also like to open the flap that also shows you that you've got the envelope the right way around but also it means if you're stamping up here you don't catch the back of this And there we have it. I could put um, why not label on the inside or just a plain label, but I think I'm just going to leave it um, as it is. So there we go, our finished card. I hope you like it. Completely different <laughs> to the floral images with the same stamp set. And that's one of the things I love about stamping up is by combining different things in the same stamp set you can get a lot more out of it than um, just the one idea so there we go thank you so much I will be back again tomorrow um, Thursday at 7 p.m. Um, for another live demonstration and I wondered if people would like me to go through the ca the new catalogue online. Um, I normally do a run through of the new catalogue, highlighting the new products and some of my favourites. So if you would like me to do that, then do just add a comment um, here. It doesn't matter whether you're watching on replay or live. Um, just let me know. I don't want to record it if it's not of interest because it does take a little bit of time to go through. You don't have to be live when I do the recording. Obviously, you can watch it at your leisure. And also, if you watch it on YouTube, you can um, skip through it. <laughs> so um, you can take your time and watch it at half, uh, not half speed, watch it at double speed 
or one and a half. Um, so if you'd like me to do that um, online, then just send me a note. And I'm just organising a live launch and buy one get one free <coughs> using my retiring stamp sets. So details of that will be available in the next week. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes, Kerry, I think it's too many for me to decide at the minute, but when I start going through it again, no doubt um, I will pick <laughs> probably some different ones. So thank you, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your day, afternoon, evening, depending on when you're watching and where you're watching from. I do hope you have a good day. Thank you for taking the time um, to watch with me. And I look forward to crossing with you again tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye for now.